Is your Joomla database really sick? And like not sick as in, yeah, it's sick, but sick as in, uh, yeah, it's sick. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you some tools that maybe will help you fix that. Hey there, Joomla fans. Tim Davis here. I'm a Joomla fan too. Thanks for tuning in to Maintenance Monday number 220 here on the Basic Joomla Tutorials YouTube channel where I show you my favorite tools, extensions, and tips for building and maintaining Joomla sites. I also work on Joomla sites, so if you're looking to hire someone short-term, long-term, even if you're just stuck and need some help, uh, send me an email, tim at cybersalt.com, and let's talk. Today's video is brought to you by our uh, channel sponsor, mysites.guru. Head on over to mysites.guru and get a free site out for your Joomla site. And if you decide to subscribe, use the coupon code BASICJOOMLA and you will get your first month free. All right, so let's turn our attention over to the screen here and we'll get to the topic right away. So today on the in the Joomla Facebook group, there was a post, someone asking for help, and they said that they were trying to access their administration login page and when they clicked the link, they would get a message that they were unable to. And as we see here, they shared an error saying that a table, uh, underscore their session table, uh, was marked crashed and the last automatic repair failed. So I suggested to them in the forum that they go into uh, PHP My Admin, I always get the order wrong, PHP My Admin, and uh, try to run a repair on their database and maybe even empty uh, even empty their sessions table. Now, having said that, I also recognize that the PHP, PHP My Admin area is perhaps new to a lot of people, and it's also maybe an area that many people are afraid to go into, and for a good reason, because if you're like a bull in a china shop in there, you're going to create yourself all kinds of problems. So in this video, I'm just going to show you some of the basic tools, how to quickly use them, that might help you if your database is sick all right so here we go uh, we're in the back end of a hosting account for the basic joomla.com site now this is cpanel it's very popular there's a lot there's some other ones out there what you want to look for is the tool that is going to let you actually look inside your database and for me the uh, tool that i offer to, uh, through my company to my hosting clients is uh, cpanel and uh, here in databases, we see PHP My Admin. When we click on that, we're going to go to a place that will list in the left-hand side all of the different databases that are in this uh, in this account. And uh, you will, I know for sh I just know the one that I want to use for an example is, uh, that BasicJoomla.com is using is this basic underscore basic Joomla. So the basic Jew is the file name or the uh, the member name uh, on uh, originally it got shortened down to eight characters so that's why it's that and then the database is named basic juma now uh, if we click on it what we can see is all of the tables that are in that joomla install now the very first thing i want you to see and the very first thing i want you to do when you're in this area before you do anything is to go to the export tab and then you will just and I, i'm just going to use the quick uh, option here which basically is going to already have all of the tables there all right just for just for uh beginners and for novices and just the, this is this the basic thing here uh just click go and what's this going what this is going to do is export your database and you can save it oh look at that do my taxes some tax work there you can save it to your computer so that if you happen to mess anything up in what you're doing to try to fix your database, then you can simply wipe your database, uh, you can empty it, or and then import this file back into it. So watch, we're going to save that. Yeah, it already exists from practicing, I guess, another time. So I save it, I download it, I've got it, and that's good. So now let's go back up here to structure, and we'll see all of these tables okay there's an error there see stuff happens now that we are back looking at the list of tables that are in this database you and uh, we can then go to the particular table that's mentioned in the error and run some tools on it now i just want to show you something to watch out for right here you'll see it says page number one 
and we're seeing in the tables here everything down to tables that start with SCH. Now that means uh, I just know that there's more tables to be seen and we can use this little icon here to go to the next list. Uh, the reason I mention that is this. Oh, we're looking for the sessions table so I'm going to type sessions and even just type session we'll see here's community profiler sessions and Kunina sessions so those are two extensions that I have installed in the site but those are not the Joomla extensions tables and that is because uh, just a quirky thing the way that PHP my admin uh, filters here it's just filtering through the first list not through the whole database so we'll go to the second list or the second page as it were and we will click next here and now we see all of the well in this case there's only two pages so the remaining tables but you also see coincidentally that session ended up at the top now if I search for session there we go there's session underscore session that is the session uh, database uh, that is the session table that this Joomla uh, site is using for storing session, uh, sessions and it's also the table mentioned in that error message that was in the form. Now I want you to see that we have some options here. If we click this box here and select that table and of course if we if there were lots of uh, if there's if we're going through the whole list here we could just select the one that we want um, but having selected that here let's put that back, that filter back in here all right having selected that look at our options down here here's a bunch of tools that we can use here in PHP my admin to uh, work with these database tables and what I want to highlight right here is that we have table maintenance this section here and we have the option to analyze the table check the table check sum the table optimize the table and repair the table now I'm not going to I'm not going to go into the details of what each of these are. You could Google that and look it up yourself. But given that this error uh, that was shared, this error message, I would go in and I would try running repair table on the session table. And I can just click that, and it just happens. And if we see a little report up here that uh, says the storage engine for the table doesn't support and then there's some other message here so even though the format of CyberSalt session or C CYB session uh, does uh, which is NLDB here did not uh, support the repair it was still okay to try uh, the other thing that you'll see here and let's just go filter back is this um, session if we select this here one of our other options in the drop down is to go to empty that um, that table now not drop drop would remove the table entirely from the database but what empty will do is it will take out all the rows now in this case in my sessions table you'll see that there's 139 rows that means that you know there trust me there's not 139 people on the site right now so that means there's some old rows in there that have been cached or haven't been removed and it is possible that the error that this person reported on Facebook or shared on Facebook link for help with that there was a row somewhere in that table which caused the uh, which was causing the error and uh, maybe if the repair utility did not fix it just getting rid of that row would uh, would would work now remember this is why we took a backup of the site because if you're working in other tables for instance if you're working in the com content table boy oh boy if you remove all the rows you're going to remove all of your content you don't want to do that um, so uh, but here you can uh, empty all of the rows in that in that table now here's what's going to happen um, by emptying that uh, it's going to say hey do you want to truncate side uh, side underscore session I'm going to say yes and then of course it has deleted them all and when we look we see there's zero rows now at that point with the particular error that was uh, shared on Facebook we could go to uh, basic joomla.com forward slash administrator and we could then go and we could test logging in and we'd say Oh, okay, now doing that to the table worked. Of course, my table wasn't broken. I hope that was helpful for you. If it was, please subscribe to the channel, ring the bell to get notifications of new things happening here in the channel, live streams, for instance, 
and uh, give the video a like. It'll help others to find it. Until the next time, enjoy your Joomla sites, and God bless.